Nice. Well, I think I know what I'd like to investigate. Oh, no, wow. Come on. I know we are super perverted during this, <laughs> but I'm like really enjoying this crap right now. Down, dead boy. Man, talk about talk about a stiff. Right. right. It appears we must solve this dreadful crime. Who doesn't love a good mystery? You are way too into this, hun. I like role playing, Isabella. <laughs> this might be pretty cool. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go see where I, what I can find in the study. Butler, is there food in the kitchen? Undoubtedly. <gasps> I shall take that as a yes and go to feed myself. I think I'm just gonna get off my feet in the sitting room. You're terrible, Max. I'm gonna search this room for clues. Come find me in the kitchen. I will make something for both of us. Yes, I'll be along to confer with you all later. <laughs> Well, we are making our plans, so is everyone else. Soon enough the crowd disperses, only to hear only the butler is left. So, butler, any rules I should know? Um, well, I shouldn't break character, but everything you need to know is in this building. And I can tell you that I didn't do it. Bullshit. It's always the butler. Thanks for letting me know. Okay, I'll be in character too. What exactly happened, Butler? I'm afraid I don't know much. Feel free to look over the body for clues. I'll answer your questions as you like. You know what he fucking sounds like? <laughs> it is Alpha 5 from Power Rangers. <laughs> Oh man, I don't even know. I just channel his. At about out. seven o'clock last night, Tommy Oliver came in and murdered the shit out of Zordon. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna lose my shit already. <laughs> oh, Perfect. I'll begin my est investigations immediately. No evil doer will escape my trap. <laughs> the only question now is where to start. Hmm. Clearly there are four rooms to visit, if I include the main hall here. There are probably clues in each of them, not to mention my friends. I guess I just have to figure out which one to visit first. Okay, I, I feel like we should go to the kitchen because we just favored Isabella for yeah. one. Let's favor Rakesh for okay. another. I think it's time to visit the kitchen. Maybe I can catch up with Rakesh. I wander down the hall into what looks like a little break room. There's a refrigerator and the microwave in there. There's even one of those little electric grills plugged in. Ooh. I see Rakesh, apply, uh, Rakesh applying peanut butter to some bread slices in the counter next to the refrigerator. Digging around inside the fridge, I see a girl I don't know. Okay, I think I got this one. Okay. Let me know when you find the jelly, Roxanne. Roxanne! Roxanne! <laughs> Roxanne! Put on the red tonight! <laughs> oh. Okay, now what am I going to do for her? I feel like she should have a British accent. Uh. Yes, yes, I'm looking. I don't know if they have any. How did you talk me into this anyway? British? Or Irish. Hmm. Yes, yes, I'm looking. No, I, I'm not sure I can do a good Irish girl. Well, just stick with I'm it. I'm looking. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Roxanne, and she is putting on the red tonight. Hmm. <laughs> because I make an excellent sandwich. <laughs> hey, Rakesh. Ah, Anne, welcome. I will get more bread. What is a kitchen without snacks, hmm? Who's your new friend? 
This is Roxanne. Apparently, she was staying here in the building to sort out some of her affairs. <laughs> oh? And what affairs would those be, Miss Roxanne? That unfortunate murder case in the Great Hall is my father. He came, he called me here under some pretense of having something to tell me. It was apparently going to be something about his new lover. Honestly, if he weren't pulling, paying my way through college, I wouldn't have listened to anything that old bag had to say. Hold on, I'm gonna open the windows. It's getting really... I just don't want the AC right. sounding off in the back. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Wow, she, uh, mm. I like that costume, though. Huh? I think that's just her uniform. No, I'm talking about... Yes. Oh, Anne? Yeah. Seriously, she's friggin' busty underneath. No. That's ridiculous. <laughs> like, donkulous. Honestly, if he weren't paying my way through college, I wouldn't have listened to anything that old bag had to say. He was quite well-to-do. And how did you fit into his plans, if you don't mind me asking, miss? Hopefully I didn't fit into them at all. He was a terrible person, a womanizer and a philanderer. <laughs> that word, philander. Oh my god. <laughs> you still took his money to attend school, however. Have you seen the interest rates on student loans? Sure, I did what I had to, but... I hated that man. I hated him to his bones. I won't deny it. I've got nothing to hide. Roxanne slams a jar of jelly on the counter next to Rakesh and storms out of the room. Meow. Damn, Bye. you're feisty. She's calling Kozaki. <laughs> Rakesh finishes making the sandwiches and hands me one. Well, Rakesh, what's your story? Did you know the man in here? Ah, yes, well, as to my story... I'm not sure if you ever saw me around the office. I was Mr. Body's bodyguard. Mr. Bodyguard. He did not feel... Uh, oh, God, I'm getting a different accent for him. <laughs> Yarg, I'm not very consistent. <laughs> he did not feel it was necessary that he was at his office. Still, I saw you a time or two. He was your boss as well, eh? Did you two get along all right? Oh, yes. He was very strict. A very strict boss. You didn't like him? Oh, that's not true at all. Well, maybe a little true. I was not fond of him, but one does not need to be fond of one's employer to remain employed, is that correct? <laughs> <laughs> I love his faces. I know, right? I suppose that's true. But surely you could have found somewhere else to work. The fucking train. Yep. Damn it, train. Not now, train. Rakesh, there's a train going <laughs> by. What the fuck? <laughs> Mr. Buddy was very persuasive. You don't sound like a loyal employee. Shit. Oh, fuck. Perish the thought. At any rate, I did not have anything to do with the terrible crime out there tonight. That is for certain. Hmm. So where were you around 7 o'clock tonight? What time was that? Uh, an hour before we got here? I was just finishing up with an art class. I was doing a bit of life modeling. <laughs> I didn't know you did that. He poses in the nude. <laughs> Well, art is a bit of a side passion of mine. I thought he was actually talking about his actual life. Yeah. Okay. Oh. We both chuckle at that. 
Mr. Body said he wouldn't need me tonight, so I took the opportunity. Okay, well, thank you, Rakesh. Make sure to find me if you think of anything else. Most definitely. Thank you, Anne. Hmm. I think there was definitely more to Rakesh's relationship with Mr. Body than he's saying. But I'll have to figure it out as I go. Well, that was certainly a good place to start. The question is, where next? <laughs>